Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress. This video is a little bit different, but don't worry, we'll play some chess at the end. But first I received a package and all these YouTubers who are a lot bigger than I am do these unboxing videos. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video myself now because I received a package from my great friend Gil, Gil Rowley from Wisconsin in the United States of America. He very kindly sent me a package and that is this one here in front of me and I'm going to unpack it to see what Gail sent me. Let's see how this goes. You can only do this once, you cannot retake it. So hopefully I will be able to open the package swiftly enough. Lots of tape around it. Gail is a great friend, has always something nice to say about my videos, always making contributions in the messages and also I used to do these live streams which I need to start again. Little tournaments on Lee Chess and Gil also joined in on those. Now it's taking a little bit longer than planned. Not easy to open this. I don't want to cut my fingers. I'm getting there. Cutting through the material. Of course, I don't want to damage what's inside. That would be a shame. So I have to be careful. It's not easy. I didn't know an unboxing video was so difficult. But I'm almost there. There we go. Now, let's see what my good friend Gil sent me. There we go. Oh, I see it already and you don't see it yet. Let me put the box next to me and I'll take the book out. Gil sent me this and I know why he sent me this. This is part two of my great predecessors from Gary Kasparov. I'm doing a series on Chess to Impress, counting down to Worcester Magnus Carlsen Fabiano, Fabiano Carrano World Championship match. The Kasparov books were very useful with that. And I said on my videos that I had only part one and part four of that series. And that's why Gil has sent me part two. But not only that, there's more in the box. This is part three. So part two is on Ewe, Botwinnik, Smyslov and Tal. And part three is on Petrosjan and Spassky. And Gil also sent me part four on Fischer. That one I have. I have uh, part one and part four, but I do not have part two and part three. And I'm really, really happy with this. Thank you so much, Gil, for these three beautiful books. Maybe the one I already have, the one on Fischer, I can raffle among the viewers. But Gil, I will ask you what you think I should do with that book. Three wonderful books from Kasparov, my great predecessors. And now my collection is complete. Thank you so much, Gil. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for sending me this gift. It's very generous and I'm really happy with it. Thank you. As promised, we also will play some chess. So let's look at one of my most favorite compositions. This is a checkmate in three moves. Why to play and checkmate a black king on the third move. It was composed by Niels Hoek. And we have to ask Magnus Carlsen how to pronounce that name properly. Because Niels Hoek was from Norway. It took him 12 years to compose this problem. And it was published in 1905. And it is very, very special. If you want to look for yourself and try to solve this composition, please put a video on pause. I will start giving the solution now. White is a ton of material up, but there's only one first move, which we call the key move, that leads to checkmate in three. And that's f6, f7. Now black has five replies. Let's go through them. Let's first look at king d6. Well, then it's checkmate in two from here because white promotes to a queen and black has two moves. King e6, queen e7 checkmate. And if the king goes to c6, then queen c5 is checkmate. Okay, so that was after f7 and then king d6. But as mentioned, black has five possible moves. 
he can also take on e4 with the pawn. And if we now promote to a queen, then black is still mated. The game is a draw, because black has no legal moves. And the only way to checkmate into from here is by promoting to a rook. Then the black king has a square, king d6, it's not stillmate, and then rook f6 is checkmate. Nice checkmate. Okay, that was nice. Let's keep going. After f7, you can also take on d4 with the pawn. Take the bishop. If we now promote to a queen, we have a stillmate again, so that doesn't work. Here we have to promote to a bishop to achieve mate in two from here. King f6 is the only move, and now rook a6 is checkmate. Very nice. So we already saw three different promotions to queen, to rook, and to bishop. Will we see the fourth one as well? Oh yes, we will. After f7 check, you can also play king f6. That's the fourth option for black. And if we now promote to a queen, it's not stillmate. But then there is king takes g6. Queen g7 check. King h5. And checkmate. But that is in four moves. And we wanted to checkmate the king in three moves. So let's go back. f7. King f6. And the only way to checkmate in two moves from here is by promoting to a knight. f8 knight. Because now black only has one legal move. The king cannot move. e takes d4 is the only move. And then rook f7 is checkmate. Very beautiful. The knight protecting this pawn and taking this square away as well. So we saw all four possible promotions in one problem. Amazing. For completeness we have to look at the fifth move that black can make after f7 and that is e4 well then f8 queen works because for example e takes f3 and then queen e7 is checkmate it's really astonishing how everything works together and we see all four possible pawn promotions in one composition so if you think that magnus carlsen is the only famous chess personality from norway then you're wrong niels hug is also a legend of the game I have a lot of reading to do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. If you like the Chess to Impress channel, please share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you, Gail. Thanks for watching.